I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the mall zone with a canine. <laughs> oh, it hurts! Ah! What's going on guys? Today we are on location in West Virginia and I'm here with Jay from Accor Canine. And we're gonna do something a little bit different today, aren't we? Yep. Normally I'm bitten and stung by all sorts of wild animals, but today I'm going to be bitten by what? A Malinois, Belgian Malinois. And this is like something between a German Shepherd, a wolf, a coyote, and maybe your worst nightmare if you're afraid of dogs. But Maya, who's the dog that we're gonna be working with today, is actually really friendly as long as I don't have on this specialized suit, which we use to train her to what? Take down criminals? Correct. Uh, she worked law enforcement for four years and now she's kind of a demo for our company. So today I'm going to be part of her exercise and I guess I'm going to be the product of the demo to show exactly the capabilities of this dog. You're going to be the victim. This dog will not break skin on you. You're going to be wearing a Kevlar bite suit okay. uh, from Schweikert Canine out of Germany. Yeah, see Joe has it right over here. Why don't we bring that, that jacket in here. Man, that is, that is durable, but I'm still going to feel some pressure inside there, right? Here, let me you try will this feel, real quick. You will feel every bit of the pressure from the bite of the dog. Oh yeah. Just no puncture. Oh, that's legit right there. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, put your arm out Fancy. there. Fancy, feel that? I can feel that. Oh no. Yeah, you don't have very know, strong man. grip, so. Oh, it's my left hand. Yeah, but. still not very strong as compared to what the bite force of a dog is gonna be. Yeah, that's even weaker, man. You gotta get to the gym. <laughs> so, Jay, when Maya hits me, like, I'm gonna try to run. Is that okay? She's just gonna, like, latch on me and pull Absolutely. me down? Absolutely. Now, what's gonna prevent her from biting my legs or my fingers or my face? She's just, she's gonna go for my arm, you're pretty certain. Maya's trained to go for the arm. She is what's called a sport dog. Okay. Which means Maya's not trained to bite a human for real. She was strictly a drug dog, but she's been trained in sport to go after the equipment. So that's what she'll do. But now you have a one to 2% chance she may grab the leg. You know, this reminds me of when I wore the bee beard and Chris said, oh, you might get one or two stings and then I got 32 stings. So in my mind, I'm hoping that it's just bite pressure, but I'm fully expecting to maybe take a full on bite today. So I think I'm ready for this. And if I can pass the jacket test, we've got one step up in the world mm. of bravery and that's just the sleeve. And this just kind of goes on your arm like this. And so if I work my way up, I'm gonna take a bite just like that. Now, do I have to worry about her pulling my arm out of the socket? Uh, she's not gonna pull your arm out of socket, hopefully. Okay. okay. But she oh, will jerk on you a lot okay. and swing you around a little bit. Okay. So to be clear, Tackling coyote is actually fun for her. It is a game, absolutely fun. It's uh, what she lives for. And this is exercise, so she can do this over and over again all day absolutely. long, it's just like a dog playing ball, pretty much. Absolutely. Only I'm gonna be the ball today. So I like right. this dog already. Yeah, right? <laughs> if you're ready, let's get Maya out of her kennel and get up close with this incredible dog. All right, coyote. I think it's about that time. You get nervous? A little bit. We're uh, getting Maya out of her kennel right now. And you may be thinking to yourself, oh, she's only 55 pounds. I mean, that's not that big. Yeah, until it's running at you full speed with an open mouth full of teeth, getting ready to latch onto your arm. I'm still thinking I'm gonna get pretty far before she takes me down. And I guess what I'm just trying to determine now is like, when she grabs me, is she gonna actually take me down to the ground or am I gonna be able to take that hit? like? this stumble and, and have her latching onto me. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how this all goes down. Okay. You're good to go. Oh man, so I wanna keep my, can I hold on to the edge or I wanna keep my hand just um, all the way inside? You can hold on to the edge if you want or inside. Uh, she's gonna center here. Okay. So when you hear her getting close, just try not to go that way. Okay. Because then you're gonna pull it where it catches gotcha. her there. This is what you have to wear if you want to get taken down by a canine. All right, Jay, are we ready? I think we're uh, ready. You ready, Mario? And we're rolling. Hi, Maya. Hi, Maya. Oh, boy. This arm. This arm, Maya, right here. This is the one that you want, right here. Right there, that one. I'm Coyote Peterson. 
And I'm about to enter the mall zone with a canine. You ready? Go for it. One, two, I'm running to the telephone pole. Three. started low on my arm, moved her way up near my elbow. That hurt the worst, when you can feel the canine teeth actually hitting the bone. Oh, 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 Jay, you weren't kidding, man. All that right. is, nice. ow, ow, my butt, ow, ah, ow. oh, she bit me in the butt, it's a bad bite, it's a bad bite, oh, my, uh, oh, man, well, I got this camera. I don't know, you think I'm ready to move up to just the sleeve? I think we're ready to graduate. You look like you're handling this pretty well. I'm impressed. All right, let's go to the sleeve. Definitely feel my arm is gonna swell up. You can see there's a little blood coming out there. All these puncture marks. Ah, definitely hurts. Take it like a champ. That's definitely intense. All right, I think I've graduated past the Kevlar jacket. Thank you, Joe. And now I'm going to the sleeve. You guys ready for this? For left arm. Left arm, okay. Beating up both arms today, I guess. All right, first bite is actually not the most painful. She bites, she lets go, and then she goes for another bite and a better grip. Now the Kevlar suit was slightly loose on my skin. This is a little tighter, so I may feel a slightly more increased impact. Try to bend your arm. Okay. Keep your arm moving side to side. Because remember, you have to go up and down, try to make it this oh, way. Side to side. Yeah. Regardless okay, of how trained she is, she's still an animal. Yep, right. I understand. All right. Girl, here. All right, you ready for this? Okay, I'm ready. Right. Let's do this. Maya, right here. This arm right here. Come on. Ah! 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 Feel that. Uh, oh man, she's got a good hold on the sleeve. You feel all the pressure. Ah, of the teeth going into my arm. Ah, ah, okay, let's bring her off. Ah, ah. Uh, 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 uh. How was that? That was about as intense as it gets. Much scarier to have the dog on your arm with no other protective body cover. Honestly, the bite did not feel as bad as the Kevlar jacket, but I was way more nervous with my fingers being exposed. She got about to here on my wrist, and that's when I said, okay, call her off. I was afraid she slipped a little bit further. I may lose a finger. Wow, that was incredibly wow. intense. Dude. I cannot believe that. Dude, okay, I think I'm good. That was absolutely an experience with an animal that I'm never gonna forget. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. Woo! I think you guys need to try this. Mark? I don't know, Mario. What do you think? Are you next? Rock, paper, scissors for it? Yeah. Ready? Uh, Run, shoot. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, shoot. 
One, two, three, shoot. Oh, looks like you're next, buddy. <laughs> oh man, there she is, dude. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty nervous. It's starting to rain a little bit. I might get rained out. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, Mario. Are you ready? ready? Yep. Let her go. Right here, Maya. Right here. Oh! 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 Oh yeah. man, you can feel the punctures. Yeah? The pressure. All right. And so I want to give her this. When you do this, you want to kind of stretch out and then bend it. Okay. Stretch out yep. and bend it. Ready? All right, Maya. Right here, Maya. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh! Yeah! Ah! 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 Oh! Yeah! Here you go. You got me on that one. Ah! Ah! All right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Let her down some. Ah! I slip it. Ah! I'm Velcro. Woo! Oh man! Oh man! That hurt, right? Ooh, man! That like sends shivers up your spine. That was some pressure, oh. man. Oh my goodness! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's gonna bruise. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> she got me. We got a good bite. It's a bad bite. That's a bad bite. <laughs> It's important to remind everyone that while getting taken down by Maya looked incredibly aggressive and violent, this is all a part of her daily training routine. Behind the scenes, Maya and I were the best of friends, and I can truly say that I have an incredible love and respect for this brilliant and beautiful animal. McCore Canine of West Virginia continues to set the standards that others aspire toward in the field of canine training and related technical innovations. The love and care of their animals has brought them international recognition, and their reputation is widely coveted as having no equal in the profession of canine training. If you thought getting taken down by a canine was intense, make sure to go back and see what happens when I get pounced by a wild feline, the one and only Ocelot. And don't forget, subscribe, so you can join me and the crew on our next location. These cats are lethal once fully grown.